older patients with AML have been a long-term challenge for clinicians. And the reason is that uh, over half the acute myeloid leukemia population is diagnosed over the age of 65, and treatment outcomes in this population have traditionally been extremely poor. For example, intensive chemotherapy is associated with uh, treatment-related deaths uh, in 10 to 15 patients, 10 to 15 percent of patients within the first month, and. Uh, because of this, uh, a lot of patients are actually not offered any active therapy at all and are palliated. Uh, doctors have been using uh, other drugs like hypomethylating agents and low-dose sertarabine. Uh, with respect to low-dose sertarabine, uh, 80 to 90 percent of patients uh, don't achieve remission, which is, uh, by definition, a clearance of bone marrow leukaemia uh, after the first month. Furthermore, expected survival rates are less than six months for patients receiving a low-dose uh, cytarabine. A new drug called venetoclax uh, has been developed and recently applied to patients with acute myeloid leukaemia. In the relapse and refractory setting, uh, this drug demonstrated some activity, and so it was taken into the first-line setting in patients over the age of 65 with acute myeloid leukemia considered unfit for intensive chemotherapy. Venetoclax is a small molecule which potently targets a pro protein called BCL2. BCL2 is what we call a pro-survival molecule, which is commonly overexpressed in leukemic cells. The function of BCL2 is to bind cell death molecules and to keep the cell alive. The way venetoclax works is that it binds very, very avidly to BCL2 and releases a whole raft of pro-death um, molecules which can then induce the cancerous cell to die. And what chemotherapy does is that it combines and augments this activity. And the question was whether this could lead to clinical synergy. So a phase one, two study uh, was performed and today we presented the updated results of this trial. 61 patients were recruited all were aged 65 years uh, and over. In fact, half the population were over the age of 75, and 44% of patients had prior myelodysplastic syndrome or other uh, hematologic conditions. 31% uh, uh, of patients had what we call poor risk cytogenetics, and 21% uh, of patients had uh, very poor performance status, which is a known uh, high risk uh, marker of uh, early death from intensive chemotherapy. So this was a really uh, poor risk uh, patient population. Uh, the treatment involved low dose cytarabine, given uh, as, a, as a dose of 20 milligrams per meter squared once a day, which makes it very convenient for outpatient use. And it was given uh, from days one to 10, and venetoclax was given uh, for 28 days each cycle, uh, with the patients uh, admitted into hospital for the first uh, week or so to ensure that they were safely tolerating uh, the treatment. Uh, today we presented results that this treatment was extremely uh, well tolerated. It did um, suppress the bone marrow, so patients did have a high frequency of what we call neutropenia or low white cells and a low platelet count. However, uh, most patients uh, recovered from this and in fact the treatment results were quite uh, remarkable in our opinion. First of all, 62% uh, of uh, all patients treated uh, achieved a complete remission. Furthermore, the early death rates compared to intensive chemotherapy were extremely low. In fact, only 3% of patients uh, died within the first month, which is extremely uh, promising uh, in terms of a low intensity treatment. We also looked at uh, uh, different factors which would predict a response, and uh, the most important factors we identified uh, were that patients with intermediate risk uh, cytogenetics had an extremely high complete remission rate, over 70%. What was also remarkable about this uh, treatment combination is that the uh, long-term survival rates were also very promising. Uh, in fact, uh, the median survival uh, at 12 months uh, uh, was, was about 12 months, and amongst patients that achieved remission, uh, the uh, median survival seems to be uh, beyond 12 months. And again, uh, the best patient responders were those with uh, intermediate risk cytogenetics, and patients didn't have prior exposure to hypomethylating agents. So uh, in summary, uh, we think that this is a, a really important uh, clinical trial. Uh, it offers uh, remarkably promising uh, benefits for older patients who would otherwise have very poor outcomes with intensive chemotherapy, 
And because of these encouraging results, uh, this study is now going into a phase three comparison uh, to try and prove uh, that this is uh, superior to low dose ARAC alone. So hopefully uh, this can become uh, one of the future new standards of care for older patients with AML. Thank you.